Brony Radio Germany. We are we are a broadcast studio, a virtual broadcast studio, online streaming radio here in Germany, um, made by Bronies, targeting Bronies. My name is Jester. I'm PR responsible for Brony Radio Germany, and I'm here with my beautiful assistant Katha and Bali. Hello, welcome. Hi. Hi. She's used to it. So, what we want to tell you today is... Uh, she's a professional drummer, it's okay. So what we'd like to tell you today is how do you even come in mind to creating a German or an, an radio, an online radio with phones? With, with phones. Um, and we'd like to talk about what's behind a uh, radio station with or without ponies because there's a lot of legal stuff and technical stuff um, that we'd like to talk, tell you about. So this one was pretty much about how did Brony Radio Germany even come to be, how did it develop, and um, if any of you in the, in the audience ever would like to run an online radio on your own, maybe you can take some, some stuff with you from this panel that is that is rather important and is really getting on the nerves of every administrator of a radio. So, come on, it's your turn. Why would you even start? Why would you do this? Why do, do we do this? Okay, uh, thank you, Jester. Um, first of all, the thing is, um, why we all do this is because we love Brony music. Um, and we, we want to uh, contribute um, our love for, um, Brony, for Brony and Pony music to, to the fandom and to everyone else who's interested in it. And uh, we do this with a radio format. Radio format. Why a radio format nowadays? Because, I mean, we have um, all, all these uh, streaming services and so on. Why is a, a radio service still relevant? Um, for us, it's because it's, uh, it's a spontaneous, uh, entirely interactive format. And um, yeah, beside Brony music or beside music in general, uh, we do so much more stuff. Uh, we're doing interviews for, yeah, for instance, for community events. We do, we have show guests, and yeah, of course, we're doing live broadcasts like today. And um, all in all, it's uh, the thing that we give back to the Brony community to keep that alive. And yes, to start with. Um, we will ask, what is BRG? What is BRG? Oh, it's not RGB, but BRG. Oh my god. Um, it's a German language web radio station by Bronies for Bronies, as I said. And BRG is for Brony Radio Germany. Um, it was founded in 2015 by Vinyl Dash and Ace. Uh, we come to them later because we, we don't need to talk about them now. Um, what we pretty much do is it's a 24-7 online streaming of Brony music from different artists. You can also uh, reach in um, requests. And occasionally we do, or sometimes even regularly, we do a special live broadcasts with our hosts and uh, administrators. We are actually a licensed, official licensed radio station. Um, we are no pirate radio, actually. Oh. Okay. Um, and it's a hobby project. All of us just do this in our free time. We don't get money for it. We don't get paid for it anyhow. Actually, we, we put in a lot of money. We, we, we actually, we, we do pay for it to make it. So um, on, the next, on the next slide, you will see our website and Capra will show you, if, you, if, you, if you've never visited our website, Capra will show you how to, uh, how to get along with our website. Yes. Um, yeah, um, since we are not a real radio station, we are a web radio station. We, of course, have a website, which is we are center part of everything. But we are like no pirates. Okay, um, this is our website, uh, how it looks uh, nowadays. And um, just to show you what is on there, if you've never visited it before, of course, there is a schedule on it uh, with upcoming shows, as long as there are shows, like here. And then, of course, if you want to listen to music, there is our web player um, with the play button, with everything else, with a song playing, uh, with typical Brony songs. 
Who's Bon Jovi? I think it's uh, probably a remix by, uh, by Daniel Imgram, of course. Okay, never mind, never mind. Um, what's, what's more important is, um, you, and this is not only static radio play uh, in a linear way, you can also uh, send in requests. Even if uh, we are not doing live broadcasts and so on, you can, um, you can yeah, choose what's, what's, what will be played on our stream um, from our library, from our database of songs um, that is on, on the server, which is really, really large. Um, so it's very, very likely that you find uh, your song that you want to play and yeah, just uh, tune it in and everyone else can hear it worldwide. And by the way, um, there are also uh, multiple streams on there. There is a mainstream and there is a night DJ, a day DJ, uh, what else is there? Um, a mobile stream. Different formats with less uh, bandwidth. Uh, yeah, different formats. Sorry? Yeah. Just, just, just let her. <laughs> She committed suicide. Yeah, so, so basically we have different kind of formats also on the stream. So um, if you, for example, have a, uh, a mobile device and want to, really, um, to use really low bandwidth, um, you can use uh, one of the other streams uh, except the mainstream there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, um, this, and this is not only that you can, um, it's not only so that you can play songs or whatever, it's also interactive. So, um, of course, there is a chat um, that is usually running and uh, going crazy uh, throughout the, in the live shows, and there is a message board and so on. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, and there the, it is. And, and the message board. And the message board. And, yeah, since, since uh, Jester said, okay, we are, we are fully licensed, so we somehow need to pay stuff, and which is more than just a service. So we are running on donations, uh, which is here, very, very well positioned. Yeah, and uh, if you look in the, in, the, in the center of the picture, you see it's uh, 158 of 117 heroes. Um, the 117 heroes is what the radio cost every month. So that's that's the amount of donations we we need to keep the the, the yeah. radio running. All right. Next yeah. One. Okay. Um, since uh, since I already said okay, there are some interactive uh, things going on the website, uh, like social media stuff. Um, just so is uh, telling you some things about it. Well, on the one hand, we do have our chat. It's a Discord chat. It was um, it was Kiwi chat before. It and was just a client, so it yeah. was running on IRC before. Oh, no, it was an IRC client before. We, we, we used KiwiChat. Why is that important? You will see later. And, uh, and we also have a Twitter account. We do also have Facebook, but we don't really use it anymore. So if you want to stay in touch, you can always follow our Twitter account run by me. Okay. Um, next thing is, uh, how did it all start? I mean, um, we are running since uh, 2015. And uh, there was some story behind it, how this, uh, how this everything uh, came together. So, first of all, there were some names. There was an init uh, initial team um, consisting of um, Young Spitfire, which is also known as Ace, Vinyl Dish, Valin, and Charis. Um, they had the very, very first radio show on the very, very beginning of uh, January, January 2015, which was just a test show request show and so on, but this show was special and this was kind of um, laying its path for all the radio to come afterwards. Um, because uh, I would say for, from the very, very first um, broadcasts on, or very, very first shows on, there was a miracle of brony madness happening. Um, it was so that we had um, then the chat running simultaneously from the very beginning and the chat was really going crazy. It was going crazy because there were um, so many, um, there was so much interaction going on between um, yeah, the, in the, um, the host and, and, and the guys in the chat. And the guys in the, in the chat were playing role play and they invented stories and so on. And I would say from this beginning on, a community around this um, radio was born. And the, the point is that uh, what happened in the IRC chat actually influenced the radio show, and that's what started the concept of Brownie Radio Germany as a community radio. Yeah, 
Yeah, for instance, um, this, is, uh, this is also in, in the part where Jester came in. Yeah. Because um, Jester w wasn't in the, in, the, in the team from the very beginning. I mean, me neither. Um, but Jester grew out of the community. And I would say you, you never wanted to do anything with radio. No. But um, you, were, you were a, a reporter. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. You, you could say that. It opti optimistically, you could say that. Yeah. Yes, because you, you reacted to, to the things going on in the chat and everything else and s sent in some, some uh, uh, recordings. recordings. Yeah. And this was really going crazy. Yeah, and uh, the, the, ne the next line you will see is that there was a Kiwi meme going strong. That's because uh, the, the chat client was Kiwi chat. And there was an error in the chat protocol that ha just happened to throw out everyone of the chat, and we called it the, the Kiwi disaster. And it was funny back then, actually. It, it, it's less funny now. It, that's, uh, it, it still influences the radio a lot because that, that, that event started Brony Radio Germany as a community project. All right, and on the next slide, you will see some beautiful people and me. Um, this is uh, from the Brony Radio Germany meetup two years ago. Um, we, we do have a picture, a, a more a recent picture from last year, but it was super ugly, so we chose this one. So sad. <laughs> so sad. Um, the, the guy behind the Applejack plushie, the, the one with the beautiful face right next to Sponso. Sponso is the one sitting on the, chair, uh, on the stairs. Um, that's Ace. Ace is the, the, the chief of our radio. He runs everything. He's got to do with all the paper stuff, with all the... Uh, all the diplomatic stuff, all, all the stuff no one else wants to get in touch with. Um, big thank you to Ace for running this radio still. And uh, on the right hand, you see a typical Brony Radio Germany broadcast studio. I think, I think it's yours, Cabra, right? Oh, yeah, our secret is, uh, of course, we don't have a studio. We do it all from, from our homes. <laughs> and we use plushies for it. Uh, so actually, the, the secret is that we don't do the um, shows for ourselves. We let we let play plushies for it. We will see that on an, another photo, too. Oh, will we? Probably. Well, go for it. All right. Not yet. <laughs> yes. Um, so what's going on here? I'm talking about shows. Um, I would say and we're not only playing music, but we try, try to make it as interesting as possible. So we came up with uh, so many um, yeah, sorts of show. <laughs> Um, first of all, there is uh, very popular requests where um, we, we are live on, on the stream and uh, everyone that is listening can send in the requests and we must play it. This is our rule, whatever it is. We, we have to play it. We have to play it. Um, of course, they are using an album spotlight as we are trying to support the um, Brownie music community. And we, uh, when there is a, a new or an interesting album, uh, we try to spotlight it. Best of Pwn, yeah, and this is our top 10 um, Brony music format, which is running on a monthly basis. I would say this is most interesting and most important show if you want to uh, keep up um, with Brony music, with uh, recent Brony music. Interviews, of course, like we do also here on Galacon. Uh, we will do interviews um, with, the, with the guests of honor and community guests. Let's see what we can catch. Let's see who can't run away fast yeah. enough. <laughs> of course, then if we don't focus on music, uh, we will have just talk shows, like uh, late night talk shows. And uh, whenever Jester pass pass participates in that or runs the show even, it's getting crazy. Oh yeah, they're super infamous. Yeah, sure. Uh, because it's always after 10, so it's not that safe to listen to. After 10 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sure, a.m. Uh, then we have live broadcasts, like we will have today, with a live stream from um, Gala Ball and um, Gala Party. And also, uh, not only for GalaCon, but also in Everfree Encore recently. Uh, a special show, which is a 24-hour show. I mean, usually our shows run like uh, two or three hours. I mean, we do any, this in our free time. But um, there are some special days uh, where we try to, to make a full um, yeah, a full, full live record, a uh, full, full live uh, broadcast for one day, which, which also goes overnight. So um, you can listen to our shows, yeah, all day, and they are all live. And this is crazy, also for us. If you're doing um, metal, brony metal music spotlight uh, at uh, 3 a.m. 
And uh, most importantly, we play everything you want. So if you have suggestions, um, yeah, um, just send it in. Uh, we, 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 maybe we can try to, to make a show out of it. So um, this is just an over, brief overview of shows that, that are running, that are possible. There is so much more. Let's see what's behind the scene of um, Brony Radio Germany. Yeah, you also didn't list my Brony, uh, my uh, Follow the Equestria broadcast. Oh, yeah. yeah, super famous. No one listens to them. So now the part maybe uh, that may be interesting for you if you are in. <laughs> if you are interested in running a Brony online radio or an online radio at all, um, there is a lot of legal stuff that's important. <laughs> That's important if you want to run an online radio, um, like... <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so, yes, it is serious pony business. Um, it's, all, it's all fun, it's all ponies. We do it for fun, we do it as a hobby, but it is serious business. Like, in Germany, you do need some some several licenses. Um, two of them listed is uh, the GEMA and GVL. Both are collecting agencies that pretty much collect monies from people who play music to pay the artists for it. Um, there are different collect collecting agencies in every country. In Germany, it's GEMA and GVL. Um, they got two different um, different targetings. Tar targeting two different. Uh, they targeting different. Um, th one's the artists and one is the labels, right? Yeah, it's more like, uh, in, in general, you will need um, one of the licenses, the, the GEMA license, to uh, be allowed to stream anything live, public. And uh, the GVL is basically for, um, when you copy the music files to your server, you have copied the music, and that's what you need the license for. So that's what eats a lot of our money. Also, we do have uh, for almost Leave her alone. For, for uh, like almost over a year now is the, in Germany we call it DSGVO, or in English GDPR, or in French, uh, Reglement General sur la protection de données priv and privacy protection for the website. Why um, is it in French? Because it was listed in French on the Wikipedia page. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for it. Okay. Um, also, we do have privacy protection for the website, so the, um, and all of this is very important because there is there is a lot of legal fees that might come to you if you forget anything of that or even make it wrong. Um, also, since we handle money like donation money, and which is the collective amount of money the radios got to exist, um, we do have an EV. What's it? What's fine on my English? Association. Association. Um, it's, it's an association that handles the money for the radio. Pretty much it's um, the guys who run the radio also run the, uh, the association, but um, it's got legal reasons that it exists. All right, th that's just a brief overview over the legal stuff. There is even more going on. So if you thought, well, let's just start an online streaming radio, you can do that, but um, if you do it at a pirate radio, you, you might get in trouble. So that's why we... Don't do it. Um, now, it's not the only thing you need to run a radio. There's a lot of technical stuff, IT stuff, whatever stuff that neither Cabra nor I have a lot of uh, knowledge about. That's why we brought Valin in the first place, because Valin is actually the, technic the technician administrator, tech, the tech admin of Brony Radio Germany. And now it's uh, Valin's turn to take over my tablet, because it's our Schmierzettel. I don't know that in English. Can I touch this? Yes. So, um, yeah. it, actually, that's, that's only water in here, don't worry. Um, <laughs> Russian water. Um, yeah. Balin, thank you very much. So, um, if you have, uh, want to run a web, uh, web radio, you will need some kind of servers, and um, so that we can satisfy a lot of users uh, or listeners, we actually got a dedicated root server after some time, and we have split that up into roughly three... Um, separate domains, so um, we have one server for hosting. Um, can you change the slide? 
Yeah, um, as you can see, we have three different servers. One is for hosting our website content, so um, a WordPress, our forum system, and our cloud, and also, like you can see, a DJ panel, which we um, developed by ourselves. And no, you shouldn't change the slide yet. Yeah. Um, our radio server, which is basically the heart of our radio, because um, that's where um, all our uh, streams are hosted, and can you not do that? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we um, use a piece of software that's open source, it's called AzuraCast, and I will tell a little bit more about it later. And Naturally, we also monitor our systems so that um, any time uh, something is not working, we will notice it and can fix it easily. And if you have visited our Discord uh, server um, any time in the past, you will most likely have noticed our Discord bot Lucy, which is basically that pony that just fell over again. <laughs> you, you can talk to her and she will talk back to you a little bit. Um, now you can change this slide if you want. Yeah, that's um, actually our DJ panel application. We um, basically developed that r right in the beginning of the radio. And um, it's basically uh, hosting our request and messaging uh, system for our live shows. So anytime on a live show you want to send a DJ a message or you want to request a song, this is what was, uh, that, um, that the DJ uses to see and uh, manage these requests. And this is also providing the um, radio player that you can see on the web page. And you can also embed the web player on your own web page. And uh, the system is also um, used as a kind of ex uh, abstraction layer between our uh, radio and uh, whatever kind of system we use uh, to basically um, generate a stream. So anytime we want to change anything there, um, we basically have uh, nothing else to do than switch these two things a little bit. And yeah, it's open source, so if you want to take a look or help us develop it, you can do that. And you will find it on our webpage. And the most important part is the next slide. So um, AzuraCast is our uh, radio software that we use to um, host our media and our streams, which uh, DJs also connect to when they have their live streams. And it's basically a modern web radio management suite that um, is built to be modern and uh, self-hosted. Like I said, it's uh, open source, so you can uh, actually take a look at it, uh, develop a little bit for it, uh, open source other stuff that you build for it. Um, and actually, it's the successor project to uh, Ponyville Live. So um, it's built on the old source code from that project, but it has changed a lot in the meantime. And um, yeah, it has also an additional feature. It has a pony mascot. And yeah, yeah there you can see it. And yeah, what we can do with that software is basically our complete media management, our playlists. We can basically tell the system to play whatever we like at any time we want and with different kinds of configurations. And uh, a really cool feature that it uh, supports is uh, our live DJs. Uh, they actually get an account for each one. And anytime anyone wants to connect and does something that we don't want, we can kick them from the stream and just ban them if you want. Right, Jester? No. <laughs> uh, yeah. And if you basically just got a new laptop but have an important stream that you want to do or just are uh, somewhere where you don't have your normal workstation. You can also use a web DJ that we um, have in that software. So you can basically connect to the web page and stream from there. And um, the system also supports a lot more like listener requests and other stuff. So um, there's a lot to look at here. And if you want to start, uh, start your own radio station, I would highly uh, recommend using this uh, software. And how does it work? A little bit more in detail. So um, AzuraCast basically manages uh, two pieces of software. One is uh, Liquid Soap. It's uh, basically an audio toolkit that um, builds our auto DJ system. And a few more things in the background. And this will broadcast the stream to Icecast, which is also an open source software for um, these kind of radio stations. And when you want to connect to our radio, you basically connect to our IceCast instance. Yeah, and that's basically it. And um, 
there's a lot more technical stuff, but um, also our DJs will want to um, talk a, bit about, a little bit about their technical side. No, I don't. No? <laughs> then let's skip it. All right. So, <laughs> so <clears throat> um, there is also the equipment the host has to use or uses to broadcast himself for himself. So, um, the, the most basic things you pretty much need to do a broadcast is, in, is a computer. Because without a computer you can't do anything on the internet pretty much, except you, you, you could technically stream from your, from your smartphone. I think it is possible, um, but, but who, who would want to do that? Um, also you'd need a microphone. Um, the built-in microphones of many computers, laptops and, uh, and phones are pretty bad. So we'd recommend a, a, a semi-professional uh, microphone. Um, we totally recommend headphones so that you don't have an echo coming through the microphone if any sound comes to you. Um, and you'd need streaming software. Um, we mostly use Virtual DJ. We'll, we'll tell you a very, very little bit about this later. Um, and you totally need plushies. Plushies are super important, as we, as we already said. Um, there, there is don't you dare. There is, there is no possible way to stream online without a pony plushie. You, you all would totally need to know that. And, and a glass of water would be recommendable, or a, or a flask of water, or a bottle of water, and, or, or cider if you're me and it's past 10 p.m. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much the, the stuff you basically need to, uh, it's the least you need to do, uh, to do streaming. Um, all right. Um, as I, as I just told you, we mostly, or most of us, except Cabra, use Virtual DJ to, uh, to stream online. Not, <clears throat> much too many buttons here. Yeah, well, there, there is a, it. it, it's a, am I, am I allowed to, to, to use curse words? It's a shitload of buttons, but you, you don't actually need all of them. Like, if you look at this, it's, it's overwhelming. It was for me in the first place. I don't use this for long, actually. Um, but Ace, the, the bot of our radio, he explained it to me once and I immediately got it, which is like a miracle because I'm, in Germany we call it DAO, Dümmster anzunehmende User. That's me. Um, I got this. And it's, it's not that difficult. Like, um, in the very center, you have a microphone. Oh, oh, they all come at once, all right. <laughs> it's, it's the microphone. Um, it, it actually just activates your microphone. Um, but we thought it was... F ah. We thought it was funny um, to, to put in a pun since we did a misspell right there. Um, and there's the broadcast button in the very center, um, which pretty much starts and ends the broadcast. You have to connect to a, to a, uh, to a port, pretty much like, like you, you would connect to TeamSpeak. Um, and that button just starts or interrupts um, the stream. You have your database. Virtual DJ automatically collects pretty much every song that's, that's on your computer. Like, if you, if you have the song on your computer somewhere in, in, in any hidden whatever, it finds it. Well, I, I don't think it finds it if the, if the order is hidden, right? Well, but it, it, it just finds the music on your computer. Um, you can just drag and drop them over on the right side to the playlist. The playlist is pretty much the songs that will be played in order. Uh, you just drag, it's, it's again, it's drag and drop. Um, I usually use uh, only the red side, like only the, the, the right side of the player. Um, you just drag and drop it up there, press play, and that's pretty much it. Um, there is an auto mix button. With, with which the songs are automatically played in chronological order, um, which gives a nice fading effect to the songs. You just, and that, that's the thing I always don't do, you just have to uh, put, put it off be before, uh, before talking again. Um, and that, that's pretty much it. That's everything you need. All the other stuff, it's, it's just toying around with the tool. If, if you are familiar with Virtual DJ, this thing can be a lot of fun. If you're not that experienced with a Virtual DJ, it's just these few things you need to know to run it. And that's what I think is, uh, it's, it's, it's just cool because it makes it easy for me and I like easy. Um, so as we said in beforehand, we do have, with all this setup, with the, with the setup we had with our, with our IT, um, with our setup at the host, we do different kinds of shows. And now Cabra will briefly introduce to you, um, I think three kinds, 
of shows just to give you a small overview how these work. Yeah, starting with something very simple. Um, it's an example of a regular show where um, there is just a host. Right? It's, uh, it's working from the left, left hand side to the right hand side where there's just a host uh, using the streaming software, which can be Virtual DJ or something better. Um, he then selects only good uh, pony music and sends everything with all the complex process uh, we saw from Valin to our BHG servers, or the server. And well, um, from this, um, yeah, connecting to the server, there are ponies uh, listening to only good pony, pony music. Okay, this is a very simple show. But of course, um, since we're doing um, uh, interviews with guests, we need to invite them into our studio. Studio. We don't have a studio, so. <laughs> but, but we do invite people there. Yeah, so, we do, so we're doing it in TeamSpeak. TeamSpeak is something very, very old, but it's still working really, really good. So, um, of course, um, our guests uh, using TeamSpeak are connecting to the host. The host is uh, somehow capturing this everything and putting it into our streaming software. Streaming software, sending it to our BRG servers, and there are other ponies um, listening to our stream. So this is something um, when we do interviews or just having guests or um, if we're running um, a show with, um, yeah, multiple, mm, with multiple DJs, with multiple hosts. <laughs> then um, something special, um, like we're doing it uh, uh, today, this evening, because um, there will be two streams at once. Yeah, so... Um, there are two, two events at once, which is a uh, um, gala ball and gala party. Um, yeah, we have two teams in each of the rooms um, recording everything, um, using the streaming software, sending it to the BRG servers, and yes, of course, there are ponies listening to it, hopefully worldwide. Um, yeah, if you, are, if you like your gala ball, if you're not a party pony, um, then you can connect to the gala ball stream or um, just choose, uh, if, you are, if you're more a party pony, you can um, select the Gala party stream. Um, this is, for today, this is uh, totally easy, highly visible on our website. You can just choose, yeah, party or not party. Party or not party. <laughs> um, and, it's, and it's widely used um, since, um, yeah, people worldwide are interested in, in the live music uh, events happening here, for example, on Galacon. Okay, so these were three very, very, very basic um, yeah, types of um, radio shows. Um, but there are many, many more, and um, they all need to be prepared. So it's now about preparing a radio show. Wow, lots of steps. <laughs> oh yeah, because now, now let's say you're a new DJ or a new host in this case, um, sitting out at home, you got all the things we listed in beforehand. You got all this, and now you're sitting in front of your computer and say, why, why is the show not running? Well, the reason is you didn't prepare your show. Um, the first thing you pretty much need to do is decide for a topic. Because if you don't know what to talk about or what kind of music to play, um, there, there is not much to start from in the, very, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the end. But this is your concept of your shows? Yeah. Okay. Well, because because I because I am spontaneous, pretty much. Um, if you decided for a topic, um, you do some research about the topic. That's that's also a step I always don't take. Um, like you you want to make a show about Michelle Krieber, so you say, oh Michelle Krieber, she's uh, she's an awesome actress, an awesome voice actor, uh, but I don't know anything more about her. So you do, you sit in front of your computer and do some research. You you collect music from her, um, you decide which songs to play, which not to play. Um, you look up, you look it up. What, what's her what, what's her life has been? What did she do? What is she going to do? Who is she working with? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Um, and if you did if you found the topic and did the research. Then you, can, you could just to, uh, you could just um, say, well, this show is named a show about Michelle Krieber. Boring. Or you could call it the super awesome show that Michelle Krieber wouldn't want you to hear. That that's what I would call it. Um, so you find a create you need to find a creative title so people will will go in there with the imagination it could maybe be interesting. 
Um, we're also having a challenge of, of having a super creative title for, for a super crazy title for, for certain shows. Do we? Hmm. The music preparation of last month's show? Oh, yes, th that's Rainbow Rocks and Sponsor usually. <laughs> um, after, after you did the research, for the topic, found a title, you mostly prepare a script. I usually don't do that. <laughs> Jessa, <laughs> why are you telling everything that you don't do? Because people should do it. They, shouldn't, they should do it differently than me to make it good. He's a bad example. <laughs> I'm the example of how not to do it. Um, so you need a script. You, you just write down what, what you want to talk about, which music to play in a chronological order with, um, with the duration of the songs nearby. So you get an overview how long the show will take. And so you can uh, like run a timer like we do. And um, so you don't, you don't get in a delay or, well, we usually do get in a delay, so pff, fuck it. Um, if you want, you have to, like, if you want to do a show about Michelle Grieber, what you can do is record an interview with her. Like, you invite her either to the show or you catch her at a convention and say, yo, I want to interview you. And she will say, no, who are you? So you will, you will have to prepare it. You will have to write to her. We'll have, you, should have to, you will have to say, well, hello, I'm blah, 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 from Brony Radio Germany, whatever the fuck. And you, have to, and you have to make it interesting for her. So she would like to be in an interview with you. She usually does. She's super nice. Um, so if you have the interview, you will, have to, you will have to do some cutting and mastering. You could send it raw. It, 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 will, will not sa uh, it will not sound that nice. So you will have to work it over. And after that, to even play music, you will have to know what's going on in pony music. So you can't, you can't just say, oh, in this show about Michelle Grieber, I will mostly play songs from Cadenza. Um, bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. <laughs> Why did we even pick that screenshot? Um, it was totally random. And, um, so you, will, you would have to know something about pony music. So you will have to stay in line with pony music, be, um, be it the, the old pony music or the new pony music. You will, also, you will always have to be informed. Not always, but it, it helps a lot. Let's say it like this. Um, you will have, like we had to do to even be here, like we, we do a live streaming, we do a live broadcast, we do this panel, we have um, PR stuff running around everywhere, we have a flag outside, which I'm very proud of, thank you Galacon team. Um, to make all this possible, um, you will have to communicate with the organizers of conventions and events. Um, like in beforehand, I'm, I'm in touch with the Galacon team almost every day, all, all year long. Um, to to communicate and to, to get in touch and just to see what can we do, are there people we can interview. Um, maybe we, as we, not maybe, we, we mostly get information about guests attending, like special guests attending, a little bit in beforehand. I'm, I'm not supposed to say that, by the way. Um, so that we can prepare, that we can see, okay, these people are coming, do we want to interview them, do we need to interview them, um, and so on. So communication with both um, special guests or voice actors um, or whatever, and the event itself, both is very important. And you do some, yeah, I already said it, some advertising and PR for every show. That's why we do have like a Twitter account and a thread at the, at the, uh, at the rather popular German Brony message board, Bronies.de, um, that we use to advertise our show so that people do know that there will be a show because we, if we only put it in our calendar so that it will be displayed on the website, most people wouldn't, rec uh, wouldn't recognize it. So yeah, you have to do ad actually actual advertisement for every show. That's, <laughs> that's really serious business, isn't it? Yeah, but it's fun. <laughs> for me, at least. Well, uh, is it fun for you? Depends on your uh, show, I think. <laughs> it's with ponies. Well, Valin is the guy who always has to be on, on top of the red button if I'm, if I'm broadcasting so that he can interrupt if I, if I talk bullshit. Wait, wait, should I do that? Oh, good to know. That's your job. <laughs> oh, I should, I should. So, yeah. this is, all this what we, tell, what we just told you is pretty much what is Brownie Radio Germany, how did we come, what are we doing, and how does it work what we are doing. Um, we do hope that was 
more or less interesting for you. Um, well, there will be a short Q&A in the end of it, um, where you can hand in questions. Um, if, any, if you do have any questions that we can't answer here because it would take too long or whatever, or you just don't want to, want to ask in front of all people, you can always come to us. We are mostly friendly, except Valin. And um, Jester. And Jester and Cabra. And oh no, don't go to Ace. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even here. Mm. He, he isn't even here, but even if he was here, don't go to him. I hope he's not. Um, so you can always come up to us and ask us anything. We are all, almost every time and almost always glad to help. So if you think Brony Radio Germany, oh, that's super cool. I, I, know, I know you don't, but if you do, um, if you would like to be part of our team, there, you, you can become <laughs> part. <laughs> that was Indiana Jones, not A team. Oh, yeah. Close enough. Um, if you want to be part of our team, there are a few things a team member needs to do, like we do have regular team meetings. They're normally every week or every two weeks, depending on how much is we are going to talk about. Um, we do have fun. We always make fun together, but we also need to keep it serious. Um, because there's, like we just said, there's a lot of stuff serious. we need to talk about during our team meetings. We are preparing shows, we are preparing events. Um, if, be it our own event or visiting other events. Um, so there is a certain kind of seriousness in every meeting, mm -hmm. but you, you almost never recognize it. Yeah, the um, thing is, um, we, uh, we wrote it here, we even have an agenda and minutes for every meeting, which, oh, yeah. is, uh, which really sounds like serious business. And, uh, I never read those. Yeah, sorry. But we need those um, to, 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 keep, to keep it working. I think we're, we are still here. We're still um, surviving for, wow, it's five years now, no? Oh, damn, yeah. Yeah, nearly, nearly. Okay, uh, I think we, we survived that long because we are kind of organized behind it. I mean, we're doing it for fun, but uh, on an organized way. Yeah, and there is, a, there is even more than just radio stuff. Um, we also do uh, organize an annual meetup. That's what I just said. Um, this year it didn't take place, but it will hopefully take place next year again. Um, no. <clears throat> um, yeah, so it, this meetup is not only for the team, but it's pretty much for the audience of the radio or for just everyone who's interested in visiting a Brony Radio Germany meetup. Next slide. <clears throat> will you do it because I need a drink? Sure. Um, okay, if, if I think, okay, um, th this sounds interesting, but I don't feel comfortable with being part of this. Um, but I still like it and I want to support it. How can I support? Um, first of all, of course, uh, donations, throw money at us. Um, because we are ad-free, we run solely on, on, your, don on your donations. Um, so if you want to support us, uh, hit the donation buttons on our, on our website. There are... Uh, I think there are many options to, to throw money uh, at us. Just give us your money, your precious money. No, it's, uh, we don't need that much, but um, the, and we, we are always uh, yes, say we we're, we're still fighting to, or we are still struggling to, to, to get enough money on, on a monthly basis. Okay, of course, spread the word. Um, we can only survive or we can only be successful if uh, we have listeners. So, um, yeah, spread the word that this radio exists, that it's interesting, that we do stuff, and of course, uh, support the community behind it by um, yeah, taking part in the community, make it popular. Um, yes, of course, yeah, you, you can, can also be a part of the team. Yeah. Do this, don't be afraid. Um, you can just ask us, you, can, <laughs> you don't need to worry about it. Um, because, of course, we will help you with the, with the tech stuff. Um, I mean, we had lots, lots of slices here, uh, slides here um, with uh, programs with thousands of buttons, but um, I think even Jester did it. And it's not that, uh, it's not that difficult, because we, we will help you with it. And, uh, by the way, who is Daniel Ingram? Oh, I, I think that's the remixer um, who left the fandom a few years ago. Ah, sure, I, I don't sure. Know. Yeah, this is something that you need to know about. Yeah, that, that you, you totally Maybe. need about. You, you need to know who's Daniel Ingram. And that's not even a joke. We ask we ask these to people who want to join the radio, and and they some of them don't know it. Yeah, and who is Daniel Ingram? A remix. Sponsor, who's who's Daniel Ingram? Yeah, that's the guy who remixes. Yeah, so I was right. Thank you very much. 
remixes. So the most important thing to always keep in mind, Please. keep calm and listen to pony music because pony music is beautiful. It's one of the most, it, it's, it's, it's the thing that, that uh, pulled me into the fandom many years back. Um, and I was, it wasn't even my kind of music. It was a uh, hero dance, I think. It was, uh, how was it called? Hero dance brony? Uh, what? Hero beat brony. Euro that, beat, yeah. nicht hero. Euro, whatever. Okay. Um, also, also the Wasteland Wailers, um, which do perform this evening. Um, those are the things that pulled me into the fandom, and I think um, the, the, the music emerging from this fandom is something very beautiful, and very connecting. Um, it ex for me, it expresses the spirit of this fandom, and that's the reason I'd love to work for this radio to just spread the joy I find in Brony music. Same for me. I mean, if you, if you like pony music, um, the, in, the thing is, you, uh, you, you can only support it by listening to it, by leaving feedback to it, by supporting things that are, that are using this, this music. So I think we can, we can close with these words. Yeah, I think we, we, we are actually through it. We still got like 10 to 15 minutes left for Q&A. And, &A, and um, we, we did actually prepare some beautiful pictures from the last beautiful. years. Some super beautiful pictures. Um, they are, they are all, they are all, <laughs> they were all recorded um, in connection to Brony Radio Germany and events we visited. So while you, while, while you will be uh, thinking about questions we could possibly answer, just, please just enjoy these beautiful pictures. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. <laughs> you, did, you did a great job listening. Thank you so much. All right, any questions? Yes, please. Silence. <laughs> um, are you going to do something like um, uh, joke-related things? Your humor is just, uh, I love it. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> It's, it's, it's also because um, we're not just a, a radio station, not just a web radio station. We are a radio station with ponies. Come on. This needs to be. Okay, next one. Oh. Nice. Uh, so you told us you make these top 10 shows monthly. Um, may you tell us also how they, the, the songs are chosen? Oh, I think... Rainbow Rocks is the best one to answer this one, but he can't My speak. So <laughs> the thing is, thing is, Rainbow Rocks can't really speak English pretty good, though. I will. With, I with can, your, I can translate for you. <laughs> with with your allowance, sh should I answer or do you yeah, want to? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, if you if you uh, think if you think back to the Cabra, can you mal kurz die auf die Folie mit unserer Website zurück? <laughs> sure. Um, we, on our website, we do have a, a, a special button, um, usually above the donations button, um, where you can where you get to the to the voting Lots page. Lots of slides. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah. Um, ah, it's not in. Oh no, it's it's below. Um, below donations um, and above merch. Merch. Above above merch. Um, by the way, the merchandise button will lead you to Vacha. Um, that, that's that's run by him. <laughs> um, there is uh, the best of voting, so people can vote for the songs, um, and you even got a, a, um, a YouTube playlist with recent songs from the last month, so if you don't know which songs were released last, the last month, um, you're, you got them all listed there. Um, it's, uh, it's done by Rainbow Rocks here up front, um, and he also manages the, uh, the votes. So yeah, the, the, the songs are, are voted by the community and by the, by the audience. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And, and there is also a show in beforehand um, where, where a lot of new songs that were released last month are introduced. Other questions? Folduke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, basically, um, Folduke for us knows, um, are you guys going to stay around for G5? Well, I'm sure staying around for G5. I'm, I'm very excited for G5 myself. I'm, let's say, curious. Um, I'm, I'm very sad G4 is ending. And I'm, I'm not entirely sure G5 will, um, will uh, get the, the, the connection to G4. Like, 
I, I don't think it will be that awesome, maybe in the beginning. I'm, I'm just curious. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm also looking forward to it because it means it's, it's not only an end, but also a new beginning. Yes, but w will there be enough music, do you think, from the G5? Uh, will that inspire enough music to keep Brown Radio Germany going? That's a good question. Well, we, all, we, all, we still got the evergreens, the old, the old uh, songs, and I think the, the Bruni fandom itself will surely live on. Maybe some will leave, maybe some will join back again. Um, and I think as long as there are Bruni musicians, musicians still active, um, there will be also be new pony music, even though maybe the show will not provide songs in, uh, in the format that we know. Of course, yeah. Thank you very much. Any other questions? I saw you in the back raise your hand. How hard is it to make a weakest show? I hear it's uh, so stressful. <laughs> well, in the beginning um, I found it rather difficult um, because you, you do have to manage the request system, you do have to, um, to find the songs. Um, most of the songs we got in our database um, if the song that's been requested is not in the database, we swiftly have to look for it to get it legally, of course. So that might always take some time. And you have to do it during the broadcast. Um, that's what makes uh, these requests broadcasts rather difficult in the beginning, but you get used to it. And if you have your library set up, it will be easier Yeah. time. Any more questions? All right, good for us. <laughs> so, as I said, if you if you do have any questions uh, that you would not that you don't like to uh, to ask here in here, you can always come to us or write us an email afterwards. We're we're always happy to hear from you. Maybe even some people always uh, already provided ideas for an entire broadcast, like they, they wanted to do a show on themselves, uh, for, uh, with themselves, or how do you say it? They wanted to do a show, and um, we helped them, and they did it on Brownie Radio Germany. So even if you are not a, a part of our team, um, you can still do a broadcast on, on Brownie Radio Germany. You, you just have to come and ask us, mm -hmm. and do, you do have to own some equipment also that helps. So, if you, if you never... You could, you could also show them some of the pretty, pretty photos. Oh, sure, sure, sure. There, there are even more, and they are all yeah. ridiculous. All ridiculous. Why is there so much gesture on it? I don't know. I didn't choose the photos, actually. Oops. <laughs> oh, yeah, Windex. Windex is a, it's a, pretty, it's a pretty famous inside joke as well that you would not understand. I, I don't understand it myself, still. Um, but it, it was funny, so Brony Radio Germany lives with and from the community, so if there is an inside joke existing in, in the community, you can, you can be sure that it will, it will rather sooner or later be adapted to the radio itself. And yeah, and just, just like this Kiwi thing that we really, really exaggerated to, to, the, to, to the top to, of everything, um, like in this picture, lower, lower right side, there is a golden Kiwi. What about the golden kiwi? So actually, um, when we had something like uh, when you had donated a lot of money to the radio, we wanted to give something back to you. So uh, we decided to uh, give you a um, gold version of our meme. And uh, we basically just uh, printed a, a kiwi slice for you and gold plated it. And yeah, that's what you can see here. And we actually did have quite a lot of research about kiwis, <laughs> like pictures and sculpted kiwis. And actually, I bought some kiwis, and they bought some kiwis and cut it off to see how how, it, how they look. And it was it was just ridiculous. Like we we bought kiwis, sliced them up just to print a kiwi and paint it gold. It's not painted, is it? Uh, it's uh, it's foiled, coated, right? It's yeah. coated. Gold, gold, gold coated, gold gold coated with gold. Fo Gold. <laughs> it was gold. It's, it's actually... The, it's the stuff that you sprinkle over your ice cream. Yeah, but it's actual gold. Um, so, yeah, there was... It. And um, this was actually just for the first donator who reached a total donation of 1,000 euros to the radio. Others received um, um, 
small 3D printed uh, golden versions of these two. Oh, oh, by the way, this is Mary Rose and this is Lucy Light, our mascots of Brony Radio Germany. Say hi. Hi. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> ah. oh. Yeah, we got, we got one more foil. And if you, got, if, you don't, if you guys have any questions, just scream. Just throw something at us. Um, oh, yeah. The Kani on the, Kani on the, right, on, on the left upper. Oh, yeah. There was a uh, hand. Oh, well. Yes, please. Cabra. Why am I running? Jesse, you can also. No, I'm fat. <laughs> so, this question would be not uh, just about Blondie Radio Germany, but, uh, all, but uh, also about the, the scene. Uh, as I see it, it's an underground music scene. And uh, I, want to, I want to ask you if, uh, depending on the success of G5 or anything as that comes after the end of G4. Uh, it, it Maybe the fandom will decrease and I want to ask you if do you have a plan for or is it a part of your mission that uh, these musicians that are well, that are more or less known, you work with uh, these musicians, they are more or less known among the fandom, but do you have a plan to uh, expand its fan base to uh, make these uh, musicians uh, known in uh, I don't think others in other subcultures or uh, not mainstream, but wider recognition. So, uh, do you mean like um, introducing Brony musicians to a larger f to a larger base of listeners? Yes, yes, but not exclusively uh, exclusively as uh, Brony music, but uh, just good music. Because I think uh, some of our some of the artists of the fandom really deserve uh, more recognition. Well, we do still play music of Brony artists that isn't exactly Brony music. We also play this. Um, and as I think um, the, the, we, we don't have a fixed ag agenda of what to play and what not to play. We say we primarily play Brony music. Um, if a musician like, for an example, The Living Tombstone, who left the fandom f f several years ago, um, if, he, if he makes a new song and we think, yeah, that, that song is cool, that there is no reason not to play it, um, so yeah, we, we, we just play what we like pretty much um, and what we think our listeners might like sometimes. Um, so yeah, I, I think that wouldn't stop us. Thanks. Thanks. No problem. Thank you for the questions. Anyone Thank else you. have a question? <laughs> we need a tumbleweed plushie. <laughs> All right, so I will just tell you some more stuff you don't want to know. Oh, great. So the, <laughs> there is this cunny in the left upper corner. It was, uh, it was uh, we, we made it for the charity auction last year. And then, was it, was, it, was, it, was it last year or the year before? The year before. The year before. Um, but, we're doing, uh, but we're doing it in charity item each year. Last year yeah. it was a beautiful um, figurine of uh, our, our mascots and cunny uh, and an adventure diorama. Oh yeah, made by the Manic Sculptor, I remember. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so two years ago we had this Kani plushie in the in a super exclusive Brown River New Germany design. Um, this year we got a... Do, do you guys know Everfree Encore? Have you ever heard of it? Who's heard it? Uh, uh, well. um, Who was on it? It's a, it's a, a Brony Music Festival and we were there last year and did some recordings. And together with the respective musicians like uh, Andy Filin from Przewalski Ponies and Illumination, our uh, haymaker and Adam from the Wasteland Whalers to, and uh, also MC Arch, they all hail, MC Arch, Arc, Arc, Arch. Arch. Um, they all helped us um, to uh, create a, an, an, a vinyl LP. Um, it's a unique piece and it's on, on the charity auction this year. So if you enjoy pony music and it's, it's actual live recordings, they are made rather well. Um, so they came, but they did came out, they did come out pretty well. If you like Brony music, you might want to uh, bet on it on during the auction. I'm I'm looking forward to it because we 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 put a lot we put a lot of effort and sweat and blood and tears into that LP. Sponsor did a lot of mastering for it as well. Thank you, Sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, we, we still got one minute left. Any questions? No. Okay, so if you like pony music, then listen to music, uh, to, to pony music. If you 
um, listen to our radio stream, then I can only highly encourage you and um, yeah, checking out the chat or the message board, uh, see what's going on there, especially if, uh, if we have live broadcasts. Uh, yeah, listen to our live broadcasts. Uh, there is always something inter interesting going on, and it's come on. We are now speaking in English, but uh, I think it's uh, it's also something special that our usual broadcasts are in German, yeah, uh, except see. for international shows like um, like, uh, today. like today, um, because um, yeah, the live recordings of of gala ball and gala party, of course, international, and yeah. If you if you think hey this is something great uh, I want to uh, I want to take part of this um, just ask us we are sitting around here we are everywhere you can contact us don't uh, ask Ace Ace is evil every, everyone except for Jester uh, Valin and Ace is in, is not biting don't be afraid and enjoy pony music all right that's it thank you very much for being here thank you for your audience.